In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to update Eclipse to stop an annoying error coming up and to ensure that it's compatible with the latest Android SDK. And speaking of the Android SDK, I'm going to also show you how to update uh, to, uh, to the new version of the SDK that came out after I recorded these videos. So let's make a start. Okay, so here I am in Eclipse and I'm using currently the API 21. Now that's the one that originally came out when I filmed the original videos, but there has been a new version that's come out since. So what I want to do now is show you how to update to that version. And then by doing that, it actually introduces another problem in Eclipse and I want to show you how to fix that as well. So first things first, we'll go into SDK Manager as you've done previously. And you may have already done this step, but I just want to be clear what you need to do just so it's actually correct, because you should really be using the latest version of the Android SDK. So I'm just going to give this a moment to finish. Now if you've followed along with my videos, more than likely you've got the Android API 21 installed. And that's fine, but there is a new version now. So what I suggest you do is leave that. You don't need to change it. You can leave that as you had it. But what we'll do is we'll go through and we're going to update to version API 22. Now if you've already done this, I suggest you just take a few moments to watch a bit more of this video to make sure you've included everything. But what I'll do quickly now is I'm going to update to API 22 and show you how to do that. And by doing that, it does mean you need to also update Eclipse in another area. So stay tuned to watch that in this video as well. So first things first, I'm going to click on Deselect All. And I'm going to go through and select the things I want to update. Now because this is version 22, API 22, I need to select these things here, which are, I've got the equivalent numbers. API 22, so 22 and then 22 dot, that pertains to this version. I'm also going to select the latest Android SDK tools. Version 21, as you can see here, is already installed, but that's got to do with API 21, and we're just going to leave that alone. So next I want to update the relevant things in the new version, the API 22. So I'm going to select the documentation, SDK platform. Um, you would choose whichever one of these you want to choose, whether you've got Hacksom working, uh, or not as per the previous videos. So I'm just going to choose the Intel x86 for this uh, video But you may also need to choose the ARM if you decide to and also Google API's and the sources Then scrolling down to the bottom You would then install any other updates. It won't hurt to install the update current update of the Android support library and anything else that you've installed including Haxam which I haven't installed which I won't be doing in this video. So I'm going to install those Accept the license. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and come back when this is finished so we can actually continue. Just finishing this off now. And it's actually finished. So once we've done that, I'm just going to confirm that we've now installed the, the API 22. We've got uh, the Android SDK platform tool, tools with the revision 22 and also the Android SDK build tools with revision 22. Now, if you happen to be uh, watching this at a future date and API 23 or higher has come out, replace those numbers with the 23 or the 24, whatever the number is, and you'd be downloading the API 23 or 24. But in this case, I'm doing API 22. I'm going to close that down now. And you'll need to close down Eclipse and then start it up again. So I'll do that. Okay, so we're just loading up, and this is the error that will now come up. Because you've installed the API 22, we've got this little error on the screen. This version of the rendering library is more recent than your version of ADT plugin. Please update the plugin. So, how do we go about updating that plugin? Well, let's make a start on that. We need to go to the Help menu and click on Install New Software. Now, this will be the same option whether you're on uh, Mac, which I am, or Windows, or Linux. So click on Install New Software. So once that's started, I now need to paste a link in. I'm going to paste it in this top field. You can see the link on the screen. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash DL dash SSL dot Google dot com forward slash Android forward slash Eclipse. This link will be in the resources section of this video as well. If you need to access it, click on resources and you'll see the link there. Now as I do that, it should come up here on the screen. If by chance it doesn't, you may need to click on add and enter a name there and then paste the link in again. But in my case, it's come up automatically. So we need to have it showing in this little box here. So I'm going to expand that and it will show a list of all the things that are new that need to be installed. 
So I'm going to just select them all. Click on next. Click on next again. Accept the license. And click on finish. So that's now downloading and installing the new versions uh, that came out after API 22 in this case. So you can see it downloading away now. It can, uh, can take a little while depending on the speed of your internet connection. But we'll just let that finish. I'll pause the video and come back when it's just about finished. Now this message may pop up. If it does it, you can click OK to that. Because we've pasted in the link from Google, we can be quite sure that everything's OK. So I'm going to click on OK. Then lastly, this pop-up will come up. We click on yes, we do want to restart. And we'll let it load up. This time that error should now disappear. And you can see the error has now disappeared and everything should be good to go. And if you just want to confirm, if you click, uh, look over here to the right hand top of the screen, you can see the picture of the Android and the number 22. So that tells you you're using the API 22. And if you wanted to, you could actually choose a previous version if you had it installed. But we're on API 22, so we know that uh, that's the latest version. The error's gone, and you're good to go.